Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about the importance of Google Analytics for developers, especially developers that want to become their own boss and want to have their own businesses. Okay. This is definitely the way to go. It doesn't matter if you're trying to do passive income. It doesn't matter if you're doing this for freelancing or you're working for a company. Okay. I want you guys to definitely learn about this. All right. Now I'm also going to use this video as the introduction to my course for Google analytics. And this course is going to be available in the passive income bundle. Okay. So let's get started. Let's talk about Google analytics. All right. So Google analytics is something that's super boring because it gives you the data of your users. Okay. So for example, when a user visits your website, you want to know did they land on the page, right? They, for whatever reason, they leave right away. They, they scroll on the page and they, they take their time reading the content that you have. Uh, did they uh, were able to buy something? Did they get to submit a form? Did they get to get some type of data, right? Some type of information out of your website. Like all of that you can get out of Google Analytics, okay? I've been using Google Analytics since probably, I don't know, since probably like 2000 and something. I don't even know, maybe like 2001, 2002. I can't even remember. I just remember on my first website when I was a little kid, like I was like 14, 15 years old. I used Google analytics to find out how many users were coming to my website. Okay. So yeah, I've been using Google analytics for years. Okay. So I pretty much know my way around this now. Okay. For you guys that are brand new to this world, right? Even though you say here, it's, it says like, Oh, Google marketing platform. Like really, this is important for everybody. It doesn't matter if you do marketing. It doesn't matter if you are just a developer, if you are the CEO, the owner, whatever you are, right? You need to know about Google analytics, like it or not. Okay. Cause this is what's going to give you the data about your users. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of some of the data, right? And I'm going to connect to my account for codingphase.com. Now there's some things that are accurate and some things that are not accurate in my Google analytics. Now, this is not going to be uh, the same way for you guys, because most of you guys will create a Google analytics account and will create a, a website account for whatever website you might have. In my situation, I use Google analytics throughout all of my different websites. For example, I have codingphase.com, which is the homepage. Then from there, inside of there, I have students.codingphase.com, which is part of the teachable service. And then from there, I also use click funnels. Okay. So pretty much is accurate and not accurate because it has a lot of different websites. I do recommend for you guys to not do this. There's a reason why I do it for my website is because I have to use multiple services, but most of you guys are going to be using basically one account for one website. Okay. So let's go right here. Let's go into sign into analytics. And once again, Google analytics is 100% free. Okay. Now you can say, yes, it's hundred percent free. I mean, they don't charge you anything, but this is the way how Google gets to track uh, users. So for example, when somebody goes to your website and let's say your website is about, uh, I don't know, Range Rover, right? If I go to Range Rover.com, right? Uh, pretty much they have Google analytics and then that's it with that. They tag me. Okay. So automatically Google knows, Hey, I want to buy a Range Rover, right? Or I want to buy whatever I want to buy. It could be a PlayStation four or whatever you want to buy, right? As soon as you go to that website and they're using Google analytics, that's how they tag you. And then from there, when you go to other websites, right? You go to other websites, you might see advertising. Oh, buy this Range Rover. Hey, we got to sell for the PlayStation four. Like, you know what I mean? YouTube ads. Hey, we got this for you. The new Land Rover just got released, whatever. Right? So that's how they, they keep track of you. Right? So it is free for the developers, but we're pretty much exchanging the data of our users with Google pretty much. Okay. So we're getting all of this for free, but with a price. Okay. So I click signing analytics and as you can see, it tells me, Hey, uh, this is like the homepage, right? This is how it looks. Okay. I call it the learn store. That's how I named it a long ass time. Right? So from here, 
we have you know how many users have been here uh today or the last seven days right revenue right you could say hey revenue is down once again what i told you guys was like hey all of this is not really a hundred percent accurate the thing that's accurate is the active users and also um the audience and acquisition uh, the conversions is not 100% accurate. The way how I figure out how much money I'm actually making from the website is through my Stripe account. Okay. So this right here, you guys can, um, you forget about it because in reality it's not accurate. Uh, but yeah, but on your website, the way how I'm going to teach it to you, right? Because you're going to implement it to one website. All of this information, your revenue, your conversion rate, uh, your sessions, all everything is going to be 100% accurate. So that's the beauty of Google Analytics, okay? I'm definitely going to show you how to do it the right way. <laughs> Once again, my business is a little bit different. I have to use multiple services and multiple um uh, programs to be able to uh, generate income with codingphase.com so that's why it's not 100% accurate so this is the home page uh, once again you have an area call the real time which gives you information about your real time users at the moment okay tells you where they at you know how many of them are on which page what course right some of them are on signing page of course, you don't get the information as like, hey, uh, you know, little Billy came in and he's on the lifetime page. Uh, little Cindy is on the courses page. You don't get that information. You just know that there's a user there. OK, you don't really know who that person is. OK, uh, once again, you could get information like locations, uh, get all of this information here. You can go into audience check your audience from a certain date to another date so for example i could say i want to know how many people has been on yesterday and today okay so you can say okay uh unique visitors 845 uh so far today uh what is it today saturday 445 right it's not finished the end of the day is not done right so it's definitely gonna go up uh, from there, you could get information like demographics, the interests. You could get information on behavior, technology, or their mobile, cross devices, uh, benchmarking, users flow. Okay, this is very important right here. Users flow. You can see exactly where a user uh, comes in through. Usually, the United States, you see they come in through the home page, right? So 48% they drop off. So that means 48% of people leave another 48 percent they go into the courses another 48 percent might just go into um courses they enrolled or they might sign into the free free uh training etc right so you also have the acquisition which gives you information of where are all these people coming from okay referrals others direct social organic da 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 right i'm gonna go into all of this in this course guys i'm just giving you guys an overview like how important this is okay you can see the behavior you can see the unique uh views right per day average time on the website bounce rate exit percent okay uh, you can see a conversion. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your conversion the proper way. How, as you guys can see, like I told you guys, I have multiple uh, services. So it's not 100% accurate. But I'm going to show you guys how to do everything the accurate way for your website. Now, this is amazing, guys. I'm telling you guys ahead of time. This is great for any one of you guys. It doesn't matter where exactly you want to go with this you know this info right if you want to be a designer developer business owner uh you know marketing guy you know developer right app developer whatever you want to know like literally google analytics is going to help you get that information okay i want you guys to take advantage and check out this course all right this is going to be an amazing course because this is something that you can put on your portfolio now and you, this is something you can put on your resume and say, man, I know how to use Google Analytics, right? I know how to use the data. When somebody comes in and access you in, in, in an interview, you know about Google services, Google Analytics, right? You're going to be able to know about this and you're going to be able to give examples of how you use it on your own websites and on your own applications. Like this opens doors, guys. Like this is like information that nobody teaches you as a developer. Nobody else is doing this because they really don't know about this side of things, right? 
I know about it because I've been doing this for a long time, guys. I've been in the world of marketing, the world of e-commerce, the world of development, right? I know how to sell things. I know how to uh, sell products. I know how to keep track of my, my data. I know how to work with the data and make sure I come out winning. Doesn't matter if it's a niche website. Doesn't matter if it's a product I'm selling. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. I know how to do this, okay? <laughs> so I want you guys to stick with me, man. This is going to be super cool, right? Uh, this is going to be great for those of you guys that, that love data, okay? And yeah, let's get started, man. I'll see you guys around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.